but the heaviest actually missed most of northeast Wisconsin. It fell in southeast Wisconsin right along Highway 60 from Washington County into Ozaukee, probably four to six inches in parts of that area. Here was our southern counties like Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, maybe an inch or two, and then the farther north you were, the less as far as rainfall you've seen, but you're not out of the woods yet. This unsettled pattern continues. The stationary front around eventually this is going to move and bring us some cooler air, but not yet. It is warm and it is muggy out. That's Green Bay 71 with a dew point close to 70 as well. So let's take a look at the rain. You can see the unsettled weather still going in Wisconsin, but it's letting off out to the west. But currently we have some light rain at times around the Green Bay Appleton area going down 41, but the heaviest is falling in Manitowoc right now going right along 151 up 43 and has some lightning like Brooke was talking about. And then I'm watching out to our west by Wausau. This is heading towards Shawano, Langlade County as well. Some thunderstorms heading that way. Skycast showing a couple of those, but look at the trend. As we head towards the noon hour, things going to taper off for a while this afternoon before we go into the nighttime hours. Probably more thunderstorms going to be rolling on in, and some of those, especially tonight, could bring you some gusty wind and those locally heavy downpours. Speaking of the downpours, most of us, except our southern counties, still flash flood watch now extended until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Temperature wise, we're going to be well above average again today, and we were yesterday at 82 degrees. Look around us, we have mid 80s. Even if we might get a peak of sun or two out there, getting pretty warm. It already is warm and muggy. You got 70 in Manitowoc, even with that downpour. Same with Ocano and 69 in Clintonville. With dew points, we're going to keep it like this for days here around the 70 degree mark. That's plenty muggy. So let's time this out statewide for you. Here's that little bit of a lull during the afternoon. More development out to our west going to push on in as we head through the night tonight. And then that continues again tomorrow night. So severe weather possible as far as tonight with some gusty wind or hail. Not everyone going to see that. And then again, as we go into Tuesday, that's a cold front pushing on through, especially during the evening hours. Could bring you some gusty wind or hail, especially to the south. So 85 today, these scattered morning thunderstorms and kind of an afternoon lull for a bit. But more of these thunderstorms pushing in as we head through the night tonight could bring you some gusty wind or possibly those heavier downpours. Tomorrow, just a chance of an afternoon thunderstorm in 85, but a much better chance with that front rolling on through tomorrow night. Now we could see a stray shower on Wednesday. Look at Wednesday, by the way, 68. We'll touch a fall out there. And for the holiday weekend, actually starting off with a chance of a storm, but a lot of it actually looking dry with temperatures around average.